Hey adventurers, welcome to Southern Illinois. I've got Z with me here and we are gonna go look for all sorts of things, mostly snakes. We're gonna visit probably Snake Road at some point and a lot of the other areas that are very famous out here in Southern Illinois. So stay tuned and uh, we'll show you what we find. Well, the first snake of the day is certainly a common one. This is the cottonmouth. It is venomous, and uh, if we get a little bit closer, it'll probably even open its mouth up for us. Let's see. Ah, oh, yep, you can see its cottonmouth. Oh, nice tongue, tongue sticking out there. That's kind of cool. Um, we should see a lot more of these guys, and certainly they are popping up a lot in our videos as well. So, um, ooh, fun. Let's uh, let's keep going. All right, we've got a little. Fence lizard right here in the shade. This is an eastern fence lizard. Uh, you know, very similar to, oh, there it goes. Very similar to the fence lizards that uh, we have at home. Just kind of the eastern variety. Check it out. Cool. We had a bigger one yesterday, but didn't get any good footage. Yeah, jump. Very cool. And here we go, another cottonmouth. Like I said earlier, these are really common snakes out here. This one is in the classic cottonmouth pose where its head is flipped up. Honestly, this is a snake that you can identify by its silhouette. This is such a sort of classic look to the cottonmouth. So you may be wondering what makes this place so special? Why are there so many snakes in this area on this road? And it has a lot to do just with the land that's here. So on this side of the road, you can see there's all these bluffs. And on that side, not so much in this area, but there's a lot of swampland. And it's just the perfect conditions where this side, there's a lot of food, whether that's fish or frogs um, or other things for the snakes. And then here is a great place for them to winter. All these little cracks and crevices in the in the bluffs here allow the snakes to, to find these places where they can spend the winter um, because it gets quite cold here. The temperatures are gonna drop. Even last night it, it got down to the 30s and it just makes a really great spot where there's plenty of habitat for those snakes to, to hibernate um, or go through their brumation process. Um, and on this side, all the food and the places for them to spread out. And because there's so many snakes here, this this road that we're on, the uh, forest service that monitors this, they close it off and it's only hikers that are allowed on here. So you're not gonna get roadkill snakes. Of course, you, you may get them on the entrances, but not in the main area here. So just really just the sort of, the perfect sort of conditions all coming together uh, for such a high um, abundance and variety of snakes. Hopefully we'll find another species or two to share with you. One of the cool things is when you're on Snake Road here, you look in all these little cracks and crevices, and sometimes you'll find snakes and salamanders, but you might also find the bat. So check that out. Let's uh, see if I can get it focused a little bit better. There we go. Tucked in there is a tricolored bat. Um, now, I am not the best at identifying bats, but my friends here on the trail told me that, you know, this sort of brown fur color and the sort of um, the black wings are some of the field marks that you're looking for and also the, the face pattern, but I don't even know how they can see that sort of tucked away in there. but. Really cool to see uh, this bat up here. They're solitary, mostly, and so they're not affected as much by uh, the white nose syndrome that's really uh, plugging bats on the East Coast. That's very common when, you know, bats are hibernating or, or sleeping together. So very, very cool to see uh, this little guy just uh, in, a, in a crack like this. One more... Um, Life species for me and, and, and a lot of the other people that we're with too. All right, folks, check out 
this snake. Look at that. It is a rough green snake. They really do just blend in so well. You can see it's going up, up this uh, branch here. So, really cool. If I can get a focus a little better. There we go. Oh, so there's two. Excellent. Oh, there's a second? Yeah, the second one is on the floor. Uh, on the floor? Okay. That's the one that I saw what, on the floor there. Do you oh, see yeah. it? The face is going down. Little one, the same side, green and rough leg. Dude, my eyes are terrible so today. So like down yeah. and back from the one that's on the twig. He's like... In that pile of see, I don't even see the other one. You yeah. might see it better over here. Over here. Yeah, right. Hey, let's change shape. I will get the one over here. If you look right above that twig that's vertical there, okay. yeah. there's like a little green twig there. Oh, you know what? I was like, I, I thought it was a... Because I was expecting like the head to be on the left, and I, now I see it's the tail. See? Teamwork. Wow. All right, folks, if you look, they spotted this other one right there. I don't even see where the head is, but it is, it might be, have its head underground. But it really does look just like a blade of grass sitting there with the table, with the tail sticking out. So here's that other green snake. It's, uh, there's a lot of people now, so it's kind of, I think it got a little disturbed and might hide a little better, but we'll let it go. Nice looking snake. So one of the interesting things about Snake Road is it can be really busy. I mean, just look at how many people are up here on the trail with me. And uh, if I turn around, you can see there's a ton more. People are coming here from all over the country. Some people from Canada as well that we've met today. Uh, and even, even people who can travel from Europe. And so it's really cool. They're all here to see the same thing, these snakes. And so sometimes like with those green snakes, it can be a little crowded uh, and the snakes, you know, might decide to, to wait and like turn around and try to find a better hiding spot. So, um, but with so many eyes on the road, you're really, it's really easy to see stuff because somebody else will probably find it before you. Um, now, you know, you do lose some of the excitement of having your own finds while you're here, but if you spend enough time There'll be gaps in the number of people who are here and you'll get your own finds as well so stay tuned i'm sure we'll have a lot more to show you uh, on snake road and the other areas of southern illinois oh and there we go <laughs> that one more for the day this one's showing us its mouth a little more than the last one very cool if we get in close here, you guys can see we have another green tree frog. Little, there we go. Boom. Look at that. We've seen a, a couple of these in recent videos, so I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but just uh, wanted to document it and we'll, we'll move on. This rock. I like this rock. Not today. How about this one? Not now. Ah, here we go. Check it out. It's a baby. Long tail. Baby long tail salamander here. They look very similar to the cave. Um, this one's very spotted, but they're not as orange. And um, you can see there's more longitudinal lines on the tail. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. This one's much yellower. Long tail. Oh, here's another one, folks. See it? Another long tail. This guy, a bit more orange in color, but. Wait, is it, are you a long tail? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I think you're a little cave there. A little cave salamander, right under there. Oh yeah. Now let's take a look. Crawls out. 
Look at the tail. Oh, it's missing it. Long. Yeah. I need to take a closer look next time. I wasn't 100% sure his tail looked like it had been cut off. Okay, put that rock back. All right, let's let's get this big rock. All right. You want me to flip and look? Sure. Light? Is it, is it flippable? It's heavy. One person? Yes, it is. But it is heavy. I don't want to throw my back out again. Yeah. All right, let's see what's under here. Come on, froggies. Yep. Oh, there That's they the are. One. This this rock always has these frogs under it. You'll see other clips of this in the other videos, but they're not as jumpy at night. But these are all uh, green frogs. Here's a close-up of some of them. There we go. There they are. Very cool. And here's this back. Let us remove them from underneath so I can put the rock back. Yeah, we don't want them to be smushed. Come on. Hop out of the way, little buddies. You'll get your rock back in a second. There you go. You got um, plenty of other rocks yeah, to choose from. Too. Deep enough. Yeah. Oh, what's this guy? Look at this little, uh, there's a sound oh, larva. Oh my goodness, dude! Dude! You found a larva of. Is it a long tail? Uh, Spotted you know, like one. Yeah. I don't know how much of their pattern they keep into adulthood. That's so cool. I don't know. Stream. He's gone deep in there. I'm not going to bother him anymore. Alright, well, we'll have to look at the footage later. Know for sure. Because, I mean, it was the right size. Right. Put this down slowly, gently. There we go. That was neat. Did you check this one already? Uh, did I? I, I think I did, yeah. That one's not as bad. That's a frog right there. Oh, nice. Yeah, another green frog. There they are. Can you see them? Video? Cave salamanders. Man, my light just broke. Alright. There's another one. Look at that. Sticking out a bit. And a huge millipede. And another salamander crawling up above it. Very cool. One more green tree frog for the night or for the day, whatever. There it is. Yeah. You know, they're. Uh, they're much more like neon green than the leaves, and so, at least at this temperature and this color, so a little easier to spot from a distance, but some of them are definitely really tricky to see. Nice! All right! We got a couple things under here. Let's zoom in a bit. Check that out. That is another long-tailed salamander, nice and yellowy this time. And then these two frogs are both southern leopard frogs. And one of the ways that we can tell is those, uh, they don't have the really prominent like spotting pattern that some of the larger ones have. But, you know, the color pattern of those um, dorsolateral ridges uh, that are on the back there, uh, they're a little bit more golden. And I find that it's a very common color pattern for these leopard frogs. And if we look to the, uh, at the, the eardrum there, can you, you can see it. There's a little light spot in it. And that's another diagnostic feature for uh, the southern leopard frog. Um, the northern leopard frogs and a handful of other types of leopard frogs don't have that spot. Um, there are, like the plains leopard frog does, um, so it, you have to make sure you know what's in the area. Um, here's that that nice long tail salamander. Walk around, and this one's a great example. You can really see on the tail all around the side. It's very long longitudinal lines. Um, it almost looks striped and doesn't have that really spotted nature like the cave salamanders do. So nice to see a good looking adult like that. All right. I'm going to put this log back, and I might encourage that one leopard frog to 
to come back to that this uh, log where he was feeling safe, and then we will be on our way. All right. I don't want you to get smushed. Are you going to get smushed? Okay. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, you look, it looks like that guy's got a little crevice where he'll be just fine. Um, all right, Froggy, where'd you go? Oh, he must have taken off already. Very cool. Great little log flip here uh, in the dark. That log right there really was really nice with the salamander and the, the leopard frogs. Um, you never know what you're going to find, and, you know, it was nice to get another close-up look. Really, like, good example of a long-tailed frog and uh, some some leopard frogs that uh, got us, it allowed us to get a little closer. A lot of the, the leopard frogs uh, seem to jump away really quick or, or often, like, in the water. So, excellent to see that. Uh, if you're enjoying this kind of content in this video, please check out some of my other videos. We're doing a lot in Southern Illinois at the moment. Uh, but we've kind of been, uh, myself and, and uh, my wife Tatiana, kind of go all over the U.S. And we've got a lot of really cool videos. So please remember, like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History. And I'll see you in the field. Hey, wait. Have you seen Zeev? I've, I think I've lost him. Let me, I've got to go. Maybe I'm going to go try to find him. I need him for tomorrow's video.